Nintendo book. Whoa! <laughs> it is I, Ioka. And I'm Shopper. And it's been a little while, but we decided to do a haul video, like a uh, H-A-U-L from the uh, convention. What a haul. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We did get a lot of stuff. Um, so this particular convention, um, if you've been following us, you know is AWU, or Anthro Weekend Utah. Mm -hmm. And right off the bat, it was a lot of fun, guys. It really was. To start off with, let's start with the lanyard swag, shall we? We got these cute little buttons and stuff here. Now, our actual lanyards, Shakpa, but I made them. Well, these things, right? Mm hmm. And, and, and uh, two bucks at the store, guys. I mean, why not, right? And he made our little. Our little tags. Mm. That's her and that's me. <laughs> and of course, some little, you know, QR codes, which is a cool idea. So you can send people directly to your website if you just don't have a card on you or a pen. Mm. <laughs> now, you want to start with the fun stuff you have on your lanyard? Well, let's see. I have this little device, which is just neat. You know, and they pre-program it comes with some extra goodies so you could program it on your computer. And I chose the kind of the orange kind of one. It looks pretty good. It's bright. In the sunlight, it kind of drizzled out to almost nothing. But in inside and in dark places, this it just shines like crazy. So, yeah. Um, and, of course, we got the Curse of Awubis the actual card that we needed to get into the place and uh, I got this we got uh, some buttons we got some awesome little buttons I got chaotic screeble screeble <laughs> which is kind of cute you know and she got me this one <laughs> this is a cute little woofy doodle he's saying dillweed on it <laughs> Which, if any of you actually know Shock Paw, it's very much him. I work as a chef part-time, and I love dill. So there you go. And then, since I'm kind of favoring the orange side of things, I found this great little uh, artist that was doing awesome little buttons. And I got this cute little orange paw here. And a little wolfy schnoz, a little drooly, but just fun, you know. And... Yeah, that was kind of fun. All right, and then once again, I have my little Curse of Anubis card, and these are basically digital name tags. And you can, as you see, mine has like some extra special fun effects on it mm -hmm. that they left for me. And we're, yes, we're, we are advertising our <laughs> channel right here because I was kind of advertising our channel at the convention. Wanted to let everybody know who we were. Yeah, it was cool. We were giving out free swag and everything. It, uh -huh. was, it was fun. And <laughs> then I have also a little, little wolfie or bear or whatever the heck face it is. It's a kitty. It's a kitty face? It's a kitty face. It's a kitty face. Shock paw got the Mm -hmm. All right. Now, there's a whole lot more to come. We may do this in two parts or in one. Oh, that's right. I forgot. So, I actually have this little snow leopard. Adorable. Uh, it's a little keychain from an artist. Now, there's a little story behind this little guy. I actually got it one night and... Promptly lost it because nobody was giving help bags. <laughs> and so I I actually um, went to the artist the next day after having checked um, lost and found just to make sure, okay, that it hadn't been turned in. 
um, and it hadn't. And so I checked with the artist, and they were really, really kind and gave me a new one. So that's an awesome artist right there. Yeah, yeah, because they don't have to, but it was really, really nice. Mm -hmm. So, and then I was really smart, and this time put it on my lanyard so I wouldn't lose it. I think I remember I also gave you a one that had a paw on it too. I think it's in there somewhere. In the swag. I think it's in the rest of the swag. Mm -hmm. All right. So we may do this in two parts. There's a lot of swag, but if you, if we don't, and if you stick with us, um, you are freaking awesome. So let's dig which, into which. What do you want to start? A white bag. No, wait, wag bag. That's actually swag. <laughs> Love the artwork. Um, so these bags, we didn't know until later that you could actually go to the convention um, <laughs> table within the dealer's area and just ask for one of these bags and they would give it to you. Mm -hmm. So that's that sparked some of our problem. This is the instructions for these uh, digital devices. Comes with cables and how to program it on your computer. Very cool. Yeah. So both of these came with one of these. Okay. And the fun part about where we got these these uh, digital name tags, by the way, is they were giving um they were giving uh like part of their proceeds if i remember right at least from the um escape room that they were running it, it was the same company um to the charity for the convention so that was fantastic um usually fuzzy logic but for the weekend it was furry logic <laughs> All right, to start off, this is, I think, my bag, and I got this, sorry guys, I'm, I'm still learning which direction the, this camera goes <laughs> when you're wanting to put something in screen. So, um, this is actually a, a, a palette of, of watercolors by the artist um rowan north rowan north illustrations okay she mixes her own uh own colors and stuff for this and now it originally comes with six colors an eyedropper which is in a different room because i've started using these already mm -hmm. and this lovely little light because they glow under UV. Okay. But I got an extra color because I was like, I want all the colors that go in that. Mm -hmm. um, even though normally only six colors come in the tin, there's seven in the Cyberpunk palette. So. And those are magnetics, right? Um, yeah. And the cool thing about this is magnets. On the back side so I like it. and they're phenomenally beautiful colors even without the UV oh yeah <laughs> I've, I've gotten lots of compliments on those already because I've started using it mm -hmm. if you couldn't tell all right all right yeah now this actually is from the convention itself. This is a little wristband. Kind of got the art, the official art on it. Mm -hmm. And there's another series of art on the inside of it too. It's yep. reversible. It was done by the artist that did uh, the artwork for the convention. Now I believe this right here was a key of some sort mm -hmm. um, 
if you were one of the higher tiers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a uh, it was especially for the high tier program, and the best part is it was a built in chip that you can actually lock into and reprogram it to do th other things like uh, you forgot your room key program it to be your room key yeah voila i don't know how but <laughs> you can apparently do that so. yeah i i that's i'm an artist but that's beyond me i guess <laughs> <laughs> all right um this, i have a certain sort of luck guys like this really weird luck of uh, getting the last of an item that people are selling <laughs> um, somehow. And this sushi um, mouse pad is one of those items that I got at the convention. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see this one the first day of the convention. By the time I saw it, apparently it was the last one, and I was like, that's cute, I must have. So I was glad I was able to get it. Um, and by the way, we will be letting you know if we can remember which ghost, which items go to which things, or just let you know who the artists are that we got things from, and you can kind of, you know, make your own Yeah, thing. we'll put a list in the description. Um... Where are the other two? They're in here. Okay. Well, this... Okay, so this and that lovely little snow leopard earlier are from the same artist. Now, isn't it adorable? It's a Sakura dragon. It's so cute. Okay. I think I got that also in a larger size, too. Yeah, but that one's for me. Because <laughs> I can't afford it all the the big art necessarily so mm. but then i got this for my car eventually i shall put it on isn't it cute okay. yeah i know i'm gonna say that a lot oh and then this little guy mm -hmm. <laughs> kitty mm. kitty of evil it's going to be an awesome sticker. Oh, yeah. That That's going on the car, too. Tucked into that as well? Um, actually, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. But, oh, yeah. Okay, so. Uh -huh. I was wondering where those went. Yeah. Okay. So, along with the Sakura Dragon, this. This little chocolate gold dragon <laughs> it's adorable i just i couldn't help it now these ranged in price the little guys were like five, five bucks and then the bigger pieces were 15 20 25 yeah we love our swag so do the math well <laughs> here's the thing Shockpa had a little bit of a bigger budget, so he got some of the some of the bigger pieces of art where I kind of preserved what little I had and went for for the smaller sizes. Like a butter kitty? Yeah, like a butter kitty. Okay, look at this tiny show. little butter kitty, guys. Oh, we're so cute. Oh, it's more like a yeah. The kitty's the butter on the bread. Yeah. On the toast. Yes, it's just adorable. I couldn't help it. I had to get that one. Okay. I think it's about it aside from my on this one. Okay. Well, I am holding the last item here. Oh, okay. Shove those back in the box while I show this one. Back in the back. Okay. This was one of the uh, you could hit people with and knock them out kind of swag. <laughs> now, this was one of the actual special ones that were for the uh, conventions specifically since now, it was Curse of Awu an Egyptian theme Curse of Awu, yes mm -hmm. they were also selling a gold coin this thing's heavy guys I mean that's heavy <laughs> now and, 
if you um, had bought one of the higher tier uh, tickets, this actually came with it, but we yeah. didn't. Yeah, we wanted to get the ultimate tier, it you was know, out first the furry convention and all, but especially me, I've been dreaming about doing this for 22 years, guys. Anyway, got this really cool piece. We have the, uh, yeah, there we go. Get the, the button. There you go. We have the Anubis character waiting the feather. Some great Wait. work here, you know. And then on the reverse, it's weighing against the heart, which is part of the story of Anubis, where he would measure a man or a woman's soul, which is the heart, versus the feather, to say if it's truly an enlightened person or a good person, and they would go on to the afterlife, or would they be obliterated? You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> All right. All right. I think that's mainly your stuff in that one. Probably. Second bag of goodness. Now, this is the small stuff. We got way more to come. Lots of art. Mm -hmm. This bag is a bit more of, you know, kind of ads and things like that for some of our artists that we checked out. So let me, yeah. let me filter through this And here. actually, this one is coming up. This is where... Um, Shock Paw got his tail and ears that we'll be showing you a little bit later. I might even start a new OC with that character. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, her art. She was fantastic. Okay, this was an artist by the name of Spooky Ghoul, if I remember correctly. And let me tell you, we're gonna we're gonna put this um out there for all of the artists. Do your own thing. Little package. Fan art is great. People love it, but. I've got a series of cute stickers from this artist. She was very young, first time doing a convention. She was really worried her art wasn't going to sell. It sold like hotcakes. I can't, kept coming back to her desk because it was just great. And, and we got stuff like this. I mean, that's her character personally. It's just adorable. And as I was saying, the thing is, she was worried that, like, her own characters wouldn't sell very well. People wouldn't really receive it well. But she found out through the convention that uh, people liked her characters, mm -hmm. her style, better than the fan art. That and she did. She was working on a piece that I want to collect soon, so I'm definitely going to go check out her website. And we actually have more art from her on the way, too, because Shockball liked her, her style, which I can't argue with. Mm -hmm. and I love that she had this nice little tasteful, like, little velvet bags here for her stuff. Little, not velvet, it's a little mesh bag. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what it is. It says these are kind of but stickers. I have to be careful. And the best way you want to preserve these things, you don't want to just put them on your computer or something like that. No, no. You want to put it in on a uh, inside a glass frame or something like that to preserve it and uh, keep it safe. Or basically. an acid-free sticker book. Yeah. Um, apparently, she's on Etsy, uh, Patreon, Twitter. We'll leave you guys channel. the links. Trust me, you're going to want to look her up. Yeah, she had some cool stuff. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, here's another piece of hers. Yeah. <laughs> we got, he got a lot of her stuff because she's a good artist. We're not going to argue. Now, she was telling me that she's going to have this particular one in a full piece. And this is like a cute little... Fluttershy bat character. I should think was Flutter just... bat, yeah. Flutter bat, yeah. If it'll focus. <laughs> Sorry. And it had this cute little metal bat thing too, which is just uh it's just choice, you know. There it goes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's Keep this rolling. Mm. Okay, 
So these were little, I don't remember the artist behind these, but these were little things we picked up for the young, the youngins. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm not sure. Was that yours or was this mine? I can't remember, but yeah, it's a little, little vinyl sticker thing. And here's some more little vinyl sticker things. Another coin. Yeah, uh, a lot of these people have these little things in their um, in their panels, which you could you could grab. Tiny tattoos. Yeah. Some paw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah, a, a lot of the the panelists had their art mm -hmm. and stuff available too, so that was pretty cool. Yeah. Now, when you guys are collecting art, uh, every time you get a piece, get their cards and keep it with <laughs> the art piece. Yeah, we didn't keep it with the art piece necessarily. Like no, I, I, I wrote but... down, I wrote a list, so we can kind of go over it. But yeah, I've got, you know, lots of cards here from all the different artists. That's kind of it in that way. Except for this. Now, the clanking you're hearing is because he's got one of those coins, too. Like, we got one for both of us. Now, this one is a special, special haul right here. The Bag of Wonder. Yes. But um, it's who it's from. Mm -hmm. This... I got, I could only get a few. They had more. Um, was so who's the artist? Fuck some more. He had his albums. He was there at the convention. Fuck some more. And what was the other guy's name? Pepper? Pepper Coyote. Pepper Coyote. They team up and they've been doing kind of this comedy and music routine and it's hilarious but i grabbed like four of their albums and they signed every single one of them um if you're curious about fox and more uh type in youtube come find me and watch the music video that's one of his he's a he's a, pian a pianist that one of his? like uh -huh. i think you showed that one to me yeah okay a cool. powerful piece and why this one's special to me is I was way back time machine 10, 15 plus years ago, going through some really hard times trying to keep my marriage alive and I was looking at divorce and and it got to the point where it did happen and one of the few things that actually kept me going was this artist. Because every time I needed to center myself, I listened to some of his stuff. And what I really loved was he actually um, uh, bumped into me um, after they did their 18-plus uh, sections. It was cute. It, I don't really see why. But um, I, he I actually don't understand uh, how it was. I just told him I was a fan and told him that he had got through. And he's like, let's take a picture together. Come on, man. He handed my phone off to his buddy and... I got to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know how they did what they did. Like, honestly, 18 plus in the middle of the day um, is not normally a thing in Utah, by the way. Especially for a family-friendly convention, guys. This Which was family-friendly. It was. Like... I mean, I think it's a kind of... Aside, a kind of Aside from the occasional swear word, which was barely at all. Yeah. Yeah. And and even the panel where we were talking about sexuality, it was very tastefully done. It, yes, it was 18 plus, but it was it was tasteful. It didn't go into places where we don't wanna like no. So <laughs> yeah. And so that was kind of that was kind of cool, you know. Um, but 
shall we um, go through this bag and then leave the rest of the art for a second video? For part two, yes. All right, so, sounds good. The giant bag of wonder. Now, as she was mentioning a minute ago, Pawstar. This is from Pawstar. I wanted to. We were at this convention, and I really desperately wanted to get my hands on uh, either a partial, some paws, maybe even a full headpiece, and do a poodle thing, or even an entire suit. Because there were artists there that did full suits. And if you want one, or if you want to get into suit, get into fashion, whatever you want to do, you got to go right at the start of it, or they're gone. Yeah, basically. Because we saw this <laughs> beautiful rainbow hyena. Um, I, I, think, I think it was a hyena. I, I, I think it was a hyena, but the thing is, it was a black base and like rainbow cheeks and ears and like the rainbow paw pads. Mm -hmm. And in the tail, it was like rainbow tinsel. And it just, it was the most, oh, one of the most yeah, beautiful was... things I saw. It was done by this artist, uh, Grey Realm Studios. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, I didn't know we had the money to get it. <laughs> because I was going off only what I had. And I didn't know he'd... he'd... I had put aside almost $2,000 for this, guys. I mean, I was like, yeah. Because he told me his budget was 600 And he put aside a little extra that I didn't know about. I was going to surprise you. I mean, here you're going, I wanted that so bad. And we're going, hmm. <laughs> and we went back and, and it's it was, already gone. Yeah. But here's the fun thing. I did get to meet the buyer of the suit in the suit. A real sweet. A, a day or two later. And they were so cute. They were so sweet. And I was just like congratulating them on their awesome find. I... Um, they did say the neck was a little bit tight, <laughs> so actually me being a, a plus size person, I'm kind of glad I didn't get it. Um, it just kind of works out sometimes. <laughs> now they have other ears that aren't on the floofy the headband. They have mm -hmm. ones that will clip yeah. as well. This one, it's. A band clip I mean and you could trim it if you really want to or you could leave it nice and fluffy I've been thinking about coming up with a new character based on these on just these but this is why he got the ears I got a tail got this beautiful piece here got this spiky stripe down the middle you know and it's it's a nice firm tail a little a little give, but it is very nice. I mean, you look at this thing, you're kind of working with it, you gotta work it, work it, you know. <laughs> and yeah, the the paw star had all this great stuff. They had they had gloves, they had beaner hats, they had bunnies, wolves, cats, you know, whatever. And they have. In, I believe it's supposed to be January or February, a custom um, time, time, custom order time, where you can tell them what colors you want in what things and, and how you want it done. Because there was a couple things I wanted, but not quite in what they had available there at the convention. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, guys, let's do the next part in part two. We'll see you in a minute.